Okay, so in this video, I want to show you guys something that I've been working hard on for a, long, a while. So the reason I haven't been uploading a lot is a, one reason is because of school, and one reason is because of customizing and trying to make this as best as I could. So I finally finished it, and you guys can download it down below. So what this is, this is called Apple Pie OS Big Sur Edition, and this is based off Manjaro KDE Plasma 20.08. And what I've made it look like Mac OS Big Sur as much as I can, and I've also added included a lot of software that you guys can't install without building from source and doing a lot of stuff like that so i've just made it easier for you guys to use manjaro on the Pi because it manjaro on the Pi without that stuff doesn't have that much software really so i'm going to go over the features first and then i'll go over the the um apps and stuff so we we have like the little bar at the bottom here and it has the effect right there and then we have dolphin which is our file manager to look like that and we can minimize that and go over to home and you do have these things on the top like mac os so that's a good plus to this operating system and then we have this this is supposed to look like launchpad so if you click on that oops i did not mean to open that but i'll just show you that the launchpad does work so you just open that up and you hit an app and LibreOffice will launch I'll just close that for now but if we go over to launchpad again this is we have all of our apps here in a big screen and you can search it up here if you can't see it clearly oops I keep on doing that so and then you can click right here to see the other page of the other apps and to go out you just hit escape and if you want to go back just hit it again so and then we have the software store which is fully functional Every app here should work. So these are the ones that are installed. We and you can, if you don't want them, you can uninstall them very easily, or you can just go here and click install, type in the password, and you'll be good. So the password is Apple Pie OS. And if you forget, all the information about this operating system is included in the README. So if you don't know anything, just check the README. And then we have Chromium. And I included Firefox and Chromium and Kate. We can like a text editor. We have a calculator, screenshot, and Raspberry Pi Imager, which is cool to have on the Manjaro because usually you can't have it. But I had to build it from the source and stuff, and my friends helped me do it. So that was very good. And then we have a media player here. And this is a cool thing. I've included a Discord app. This is a native Discord app made by Spacing Bat 3. So, a huge thank you to him for making this Discord app and making it fully functional. I'm not logged in right now, but it does work. And then what we have, we have console, which is the terminal. And the terminal, I made it look like this, and you can use a terminal, like a normal terminal. And then we have our system settings. So you can change all of these settings from here and do, do different things like that. So you can always go through here, change these different settings if you know what they are. So one thing that you can do if you would rather, if you want it to be more macOS like, but if you're okay with the performance not being the best. So when I move the windows, as you see, they're not wobbly. But if you want wobbly windows, you go over to Workspace Behavior, Desktop Effects, and search for wobbly. Right here, just hit that button right here to enable. Click Apply. And now, when I move my app, as you see, it's like wobbly. And that, it for me, I like that look a lot more. But I did see some bugs with that. That's why I did not make it default like that but if you want to use it that way and you don't have a problem with a few bugs go with it like that and then every time you move your window you have this cool wobbly window and when you hit it will like go in so it just makes it more mac os like so you can use it like that if you like and then what i've included here is chromium media edition which actually it's, it uses a docker file 
So when you launch it, you're going to have to type in your password. And I want to thank Mon Monkablat for making this possible. And so this browser, you're only going to want to use when you want to watch Netflix, Disney Plus, or use Spotify. So let me just show you that Netflix works. So I can just play a movie. And as you see, Netflix plays um, with no problem on here. Okay, so I can just skip and it ends perfectly. So I'm not going to show Disney Plus, but all of the streaming services do work. And you can always, from here, you can do like a new tab. You can use that too in it. Yeah. So I can close that up. So that's Chromium Media Edition for watching Netflix. And then we do have PPSSP for PSP emulation. And it is fully functional too. For some reason, it's a little buggy. Not when you're playing a game. It just makes the bar on the bottom look like that. But it doesn't really matter. So you just play your games. And you can close it up. And it all, go, and it all goes back to normal. And then we have Dolphin, which is really cool. So you can play your Wii or GameCube games on here. All of them should launch with no problem. I can't tell you the speed won't be the fastest, but it's actually surprisingly good for the Pi. I don't have any ROMs to test out, but if you do, I mean, it will work because I, I had one ROM that I did test out. And then if you want to do other ROMs, I have I've included a retro arch for you. So you guys can install different cores from here to emulate different emulation systems and stuff like that. And then we have OBS Studio, which OBS Studio you can record your screen or use this capture card or different sources like that. You can add them from here. And then test them out and record. So I do want to say, if when you are recording, your system will be a little slower, but that's expected because this is a Pi. It's not an x86 computer. But I was surprised to even get that working on Manjaro. So one person I need to thank for helping me get all these apps working on here is Tech Time Four. That is his name, and he helped me build all of these, and he was a big help. So if we click on this logo here, we can see all of our apps from the top. You can see recent, recent documents, and then develop. You, then you can see all of your apps from here, and you can add different apps to the bar right here. So if you don't want to use this Launchpad app here, like I can either launch an app from there, or I can go over here and launch it from here, from games, from games. I do want to say that there is DOSBox to emulate your old DOS games. And then if you have a premium Minecraft account, it has to be premium. You can go over here and add, add a game. And Minecraft below 1.12.2 does not work. So start by 1.113 if you can. And then sign into your account and you can start playing Minecraft like that. And then this is our Wi-Fi and Ethernet. I'm using Ethernet. This is Bluetooth, sound, battery. That This is media playing. And this is your time and date. And from here, you can always search for a file or any app. And it should open up for you from there. And this is notifications. Yeah, so this is Apple Pie OS Big Sur Edition based off Manjaro KDE, and I hope you guys like this, and I hope you guys use it, and if you have any feedback about this, please tell, tell me down below, or please join the Discord server about Apple Pie OS, and tell me what you think about it, or how I can make it better. And if you like this video, please hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe.